Hey, this is Scott. What we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to take this boy, we're going to take a selection of this boy using the quick selection tool and place him into another photograph. So here you can see I have Photoshop CS4 open. I have two pictures that I've opened. One of this landscape with this impending doom of a storm just blowing in. And one of this boy, this boy eating, say, these french fries who's going to be completely unaware that this storm is going to move in. So let's see what we can do here. So your quick selection tool is found on your Photoshop tools over here on the left hand side. I'm going to choose quick selection tool. If you don't see it, quick and click and hold down on your magic wand tool if that's the available tool. Now if you're using an older version, it's not available to you. You have to have Photoshop CS4. So I'm going to um, activate my quick selection tool and notice my right bracket key if I click and hold that down, it makes that tool bigger, while my left bracket key makes the diameter of the tool smaller. I'm going to go with a size about that big. I don't want to go outside the boy like that. I want to keep that circle inside the boy's hat. I'm going to click once. You can see it already picked up some of the selection. Didn't get the red there, so I'm going to take that tool. I'm going to take the circumference of the circle and just move it out just a little bit, just so it's touching it, and click. You can see I just picked that up. Now I'm going to click and hold down my mouse button and just burn down the boy there. You can see I selected most of the boy. I need to pick up this arm. I'm going to move out into the arm, but not all the way out. I'm just going to click once right there on the arm. That looks great. And I need to pick up this arm. But before I click in this arm, I'm going to use my left bracket key to make the diameter of my tool a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to click once on that arm to select that. Um, we're going to clean this selection up here in just a little bit. You can see got some of the asphalt between the boy's armpit there. That's fine. And I notice that I need to pick this little area up here, little animal or whatever that is on the boy's shirt. So I'm going to bring my selection tool just a little higher. One click right on the uh, fox there to pick up the fox on the boy's shirt. I'm going to go over and get my black arrow tool, which is the move tool. You can tap your V key as well. I'm going to click right on the selection of the boy. I'm going to click and hold down with my mouse and I'm going to move this up. Keep on going keep on going and hover over the tab. Now this is in CS4. Once you've hovered over the tab, it's going to open up. Do not let go of your mouse. Bring it back down until you see the little plus sign next to the white arrow. Now I have not let go of my mouse button. Very important. And I'm going to let go now. You can see it's placed the boy inside the picture. I'm now going to do a control T or command T as in Tom on the Mac to get my free transform tools open. Now if you're not a shortcut person, you can always click on your move tool and up at the top there's a little checkbox that says show transform controls. You can click that and you can see these little squares around the boy. Now I'm going to go to the corner, the upper right corner, and I'm going to hold down my shift key. Now you don't see the corner handles move the boy down a little bit. Just click right on the boy, move it down a little bit so you can see the corner handles and shift drag down. Then let go, bring the boy up, and what shift dragging does is it constrains the boy's proportions, constrains its width and its height. Notice if I don't hold down my shift key, I can make him too skinny or kind of short and puggy. So I need to hold down my shift key to constrain both his height and his width as I'm resizing. I'm going to bring him down just a little bit more and move him into place there. Now, I don't want to go up too high because, of course, uh, the effect is gone because his legs look uh, truncated there. So I'm going to click, place him right there, hit my inner key to accept the transform. I'm going to uncheck the show transform controls checkbox. I don't like that selected. I'm more of a shortcut person, so I like the control T or command T on the Mac. And then once you're all done, you can click this little checkbox right up here. Once you're all done resizing him, you can click the checkbox, the green checkbox, to accept the transform or simply hit your inner key. So we're done with that, but I do want to zoom in and, and fix this little area between the boy's arm there. So I'm going to hold down my Alt key and scroll with my mouse button. I could do that, or I could simply get my zoom tool and drag a rectangle around that area. And you can see I've zoomed in, and there is the area that we need to delete. So I'm going to get to delete this area. I think I'll just uh, switch over to my uh, uh, we'll go with the, what the heck, the magic wand tool. And we'll stick with this quick selection tool. Now my tool is way too big, so I'm going to use my left bracket key to resize that. About that big. Click one time inside that area. Maybe hover outside. 
just a tad on the edge. Take that and hit your delete key to get rid of that area and then what we might want to do is even clean it up just a little bit more using the eraser tool just activate your eraser tool deselect by doing control D or command D on the Mac make it a small eraser just kind of erase in that uh, fringy area inside his armpit because we do not want the asphalt to come over that kind of loses the effect for us and I'm just using my left and right bracket keys to resize that eraser tool. Those left and right bracket keys are so important in Photoshop. It can save you a ton of time. Okay, we're all done there. I'm going to double click on the hand tool. Double clicking on the hand tool instantly resizes the picture to fit our work area. Double click the zoom tool, by the way, and it brings the picture up to 100%. So I just double click the hand tool to resize the picture to our work area. And there we have it. We use the quick selection tool to select the boy and place him inside another picture.